Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 2, Week 6 Milk Base Let's learn about Visualizing decimal numbers using models and renaming decimal numbers to fractions Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn about visualizing decimal numbers using models and renaming decimal numbers to fractions. The numbers that has a dot after the ones digit is called decimal numbers. These digits after the ones denoted tens, hundreds, and so on. Decimal number can be changed or renamed into fraction form and vice versa. These numbers are whole numbers and these numbers are fractional numbers. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Visualize decimal numbers using models like blocks, grids, number lines, and money to show the relationship to fractions and rename decimal numbers to fractions whose denominators are factors of 10 and 100 to decimals. The 10 cubes represent the whole. 6 out of 10 cubes are shaded. This can be written as 6 tenths in fraction form or 0.6 in decimal form. 6 tenths is equivalent to 0.6. As you can see, the denominator in fraction has one zero. It tells you that there is one digit after the decimal point in the decimal number. Grid is another way to visualize decimal number. You can observe that there are 100 squares. This means the whole is equally divided into 100 squares. There are 12 shaded out of 100 squares. The 100 squares represent the whole. 12 out of 100 squares are shaded squares. It can also be written as 0 0.12 in decimal form. You will notice that 0 0.12 has two decimal places. Decimal number can be also visualized through number line. There are 10 posts which represent a whole. Out of 10 posts, there are 3 painted posts. In fraction, we call it 3 tenths. 3 tenths is equivalent to 0 0.3. This can be written in decimal form as 0 0.3 and 3 tenths in fraction form. Look at 25 centavo coin. This can be written as 0 0.25 in decimal form or 25 one hundreds in fraction form. Here are another examples of decimal number to fraction form. Observe how decimal numbers rename to fraction form and vice versa. In this column, the decimal numbers has one decimal place. Decimal, 0 0.5. In fraction form, it is 5 tenths. The lowest term of 5 tenths is 1 half. Next decimal number, 0 0.4. In fraction form, it is 4 tenths. The lowest term of 4 tenths is 2 fifths. Another decimal number, 0 0.8. In fraction form, it is 8 tenths. The lowest term of 8 tenths is 4 fifths. Another decimal number, 0 0.9. In fraction form, it is 9 tenths. The lowest term of 9 tenths is 9 tenths. As you can see, the decimal numbers has one decimal place. That's why the denominators of fraction has only one zero. Another column is with two decimal places. The decimal number is... 0.25 As you can see, 
there are two decimal places. 0 0.25 in fraction is equals to 25 one hundredths. The lowest term of 25 one hundredths is 1 fourth. Next decimal number is 0 0.50. In fraction form, it is 50 one hundredths. And the lowest term of this fraction is 1 half. Next decimal number is 0 0.40. In fraction form, it is 40 one hundredths. 40 one hundred is equals to 2 fifth. Next decimal number is 0 0.35. In fraction form, it is 35 one hundredths. The lowest term of this fraction is 7 20. Now, try to do the following activities. Learning Task 1 Show the following decimals using grids. Number 1, 0 0.9 Show this using grids. Very good! The answer is this, 9 tenths. Number 2, 0 0.1 Show this using grids. Very good! The answer is this, 1 tenths. Number 3, 0 0.24 Show this using grids. Very good! The answer is this, 24 hundreds. Number 4, 0 0.21. Show this using grids. Very good! The answer is this, 21 hundreds. Number 5, 0 0.1. Show this using grids. Very good! The answer is this, one hundreds. And number 6, 0 0.15. Show this using grids. Very good! The answer is this, 15 hundreds. Let's move to learning task 2. Show the following decimals using number lines. Number 1, 0 0.2. Show this using number lines. Very good! The answer is this, 2 tenths. Number 2, 0 0.8. Show this using number lines. Very good! The answer is this, 8 tenths. Number 3, 0 0.1. Show this using number lines. Very good! The answer is this, one tenth. Number 4, 0 0.5. Show this using number lines. Very good! The answer is this, five tenths. Number 5, 0 0.8. Show this using number lines. Very good! The answer is this, 8 tenths. Number 6, 0 0.9. Show this using number lines. Very good! The answer is this, 9 tenths. Learning Task 3. Show the following decimals using cubes. Number 1, 0 0.7. Show these decimals using cubes. Very good! The answer is this, 7 tenths. Number 2, 0 0.9. Show these decimals using cubes. Very good! The answer is this, 9 tenths. Number 3, 0 0.1 Show this decimal using cubes. Very good! The answer is this, 1 tenths. Number 4, 0 0.2 Show this decimal using cubes. Very good! The answer is 
this. Two tenths. Number five, zero point eight. Show these decimals using cubes. Very good. The answer is this. Eight tenths. And number six, zero point five. Show this decimal using cubes. Very good. The answer is this. Five tenths. Now let's move to learning task four. Rename the following decimal form into fraction form. Number one, zero point seventy five. The fraction form of this decimal is seventy five one hundredths. The lowest term is three fourth. Number two, zero point thirty five. The fraction form of this decimal is thirty five one hundredths. The lowest term of this is seven twenty. Number three, zero point ninety. The fraction form of this decimal number is ninety one hundredths, and the lowest term of this fraction is nine tenths. Number four, zero point eighty. The fraction form of this decimal number is eighty one hundredths. The lowest term of this fraction is four fifth. Number five, zero point nine. The fraction form of this decimal number is nine tenths. Number six, zero point sixty. The fraction form of this decimal number is sixty one hundredths, and the lowest term of this fraction is three fifths. Number seven, zero point fifteen. The fraction form of this decimal number is fifteen one hundredths, and the lowest term of this fraction is three twentieth. Number eight, zero point ninety five. The fraction form of this decimal number is ninety five one hundredths, and the lowest term of this fraction is nineteen twentieth. Number nine, zero point thirty six. The fraction form of this decimal number is thirty-six one hundredths, and the lowest term of this fraction is nine twenty-fifth. Number ten, zero point sixteen. The fraction form of this decimal number is sixteen one hundredths. The lowest term of this fraction is four twenty-fifth. Number eleven. Zero point fifty. The fraction form of this decimal number is fifty one hundredths, and the lowest term of this fraction is one half. And number twelve, zero point forty nine. The fraction form of this decimal number is forty nine one hundredths. Learning task five. Rename the following fraction form into decimal form. Number one, five tenths. The decimal form of this fraction is zero point five. Number two, eight tenths. The decimal form of this fraction is zero point eight. Number three, twenty one hundredths. The decimal form of this fraction is zero point twenty. Number four. Forty-three one hundredths. The decimal form of this fraction is zero point forty-three. Number five, five one hundredths. The decimal form of this fraction is zero point zero five. Number six, sixty-five tenths. The decimal form of this fraction is zero point sixty-five. Number seven, sixty tenths. The decimal form of this fraction is zero point sixty. Number eight, eighteen one hundredths. The decimal form of this fraction is zero point eighteen. Number nine, seventy five one hundredths. 
The decimal form of this fraction is 0 0.75. And number 10, 81 hundredths. The decimal form of this fraction is 0 0.80. Kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!